Good morning YouTube. If you've stuck with me through the first two extender videos, this should be the last before we see some results. The reason being that there's no yes or no answer to whether you can duplicate a media center extender or MCE. In short, the answer is no because there are certain features that only an MCE can provide. But if those features are not of interest to you, then the answer may be yes. First off, let's define what a media extender does. Imagine you've hooked up a long video keyboard mouse cable from your Windows Media Center PC or WMC and connected that to a TV in another room. It would be as if you're sitting in front of the WMC. You could access the same media, use the same functions, and get the same content. That's almost what an MCE is. Here's Microsoft's answer. And it says, with a Media Center Extender, you can have up to five extenders off one Media Center PC. You can listen to music, look at photos, watch videos. You can watch live TV, automatically record your favorite TV shows, and much more. It's the and much more bit where things get fuzzy. So what Media Center features aren't available when using an, an extender? The following table highlights some of the Media Center features that aren't available when using an extender. So lots of things an extender can't do are listed. Even an extender isn't a 100% copy of the Media Center PC. Okay. So how about we break that down into six basic features you might want to have in an extender replacement. Number one would be to have access to all your media libraries, photos, music, videos, movies, and non-DRM TV recordings. DRM, or Digital Rights Management, is also known as copy protection. More on that later. Number two would be to have access to the same live TV content be that over the air or cable TV. Ideally, sharing tuners if watching and recording the same program, including pausing and resuming live TV playback. Number three would be to have the same electronic program guide or EPG information for that live TV content as WMC. Number four is related to the first three and that's searching the EPG and media libraries to find content or set up recordings. Number five would be to manage the TV recording schedule, adding and modifying recording events. And finally, number six would be to play back copy protected or DRM recordings. Okay, let's look at those features and see how many can be done with something like a Raspberry Pi and Kodi. The first three features aren't that hard to do, and I'll show you how I have them implemented in subsequent videos. Features 4 and 5 are hard to do fully, but can be partially implemented. And feature 6 is the one you can't do as explained below. Here's a thread. I'll post a link to this in the video description. So, if you have a DRM recording, you'll need to watch that on the PC it was recorded on or on a real MCE. Windows Media Center and extenders are certified through Cable Labs to be Play Ready DRM compliant. Yeah, here's you know just some of their information. And that's the Play Ready check you run when you first set up Windows Media Center. So it checks that everything in your system is suitable. For example, with HDMI video, is the video display HDCP compliant? So this shows you all the things you need to do. And if you had a pile of money laying around, you could get your device certified. Uh, you'd have to have a pretty good pile of money. They charge for everything. So digital TV programming, both over the air and cable, is marked with copy control information for DRM. Uh, there's copy once content that is recorded on a 
WMC won't play on a separate device unless it's a media center extender. And then there's copy freely content plays fine on other devices. So the reason for going into all this detail is that it may matter depending on how you use your WMC. If you have cable TV and a cable card tuner and mainly record premium channel content, you may find that unless you use an MCE, you won't be able to play back your recordings on other than the Windows Media Center PC. If, like me, you've cut the cable and just use over-the-air TV and record programs for time shifting, you'll find what I show later on will work great. And if you also want to access high-quality streaming content over the Internet, you may find the solution I propose works even better than WMC with an extender. Why is that? Well, WMC has limited streaming add-ons, as in limited number and quality. For example, Netflix and Hulu are SD quality and left-right stereo audio only. And MCEs have limited codec support and may not work with some media sources or video formats. Okay, enough of that. Let's get on with it. So, I'm using a PC running Windows Media Center that I use as my main TV server and DVR. I set up the server WMC program on that PC to export the WMC TV tuner recording and EPG information to my home network and I'll have a link to this in the video description. So what does server WMC do? Basically it's a server that supplies the above data in a format that a properly configured Kodi system can receive to display TV programming. It does seem to work well and while it requires the PC it's installed on to be running for access. WMC doesn't need to be running for it to work. In the next video, I'll go into detail on how I have server WMC actually set up and configured. Questions welcome in the comment section below. Check out some of my other cable cutting videos in the playlist link here in the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.